Really intriguing info here, guys. There was a recent study, it was done last year, I believe by Recurrent, showing people who charged their Teslas or their EVs, in fact, it was 13,000 electric cars that were studied. They looked at people who charged their EVs, whether they're lithium ion phosphate batteries or NMC, and they saw the battery degradation, but their battery degradation was surprisingly low, even with people who fully charged using superchargers almost every single day. But there's still a lot of mystery around battery degradation. Battery degradation in cars is definitely real, but it's not as big of a problem as many people think it is. Any EV will lose charge over time, but it slows down significantly after the first 12 months. However, interestingly, Recurrent, they actually analyzed 14 different EV brands based on how much range their vehicles tend to lose after three years of driving. Very interesting numbers here. Recurrence research draws from real world telematics, data from actual cars, and it found that Cadillac, Hyundai, and Mercedes Benz fared among the best. Tesla did well as well, with over 96% range retention after three years. However, there were some other brands that didn't do so well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Volkswagens, BMWs, and Jaguars experienced the most range loss over time, but still retained over 90% of their original range. Now, Jaguars EVs, I wouldn't recommend regardless because of all the recalls they've had. That is the one car that literally will set itself on fire. And for some people, it's happened a number of times. So avoid those anyway. Here's some data, right, from Recurrent showing you battery degradation after three years. So it's a little bit misleading and confusing this chart here because the original range is benchmarked to real world observed range, not EPA figures. So it's really kind of confusing. It looks like uh, Recurrent is saying that Cadillac, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, Mini, and Rivian, and Ford uh, vehicles had almost basically no battery degradation. But the truth is they did. It's just the range was benchmarked against real-world range. So the degradation, we don't know what it was because those vehicles were still getting 100% of their claim range after three years. Now, as you can see here, Nissan apparently was at 98.4%, but I should point out, these were not Nissan Leaf EVs, I don't believe, that were the older models without uh, battery management systems that would actually you know, cool the battery. Audi, you can see, is pretty great, pretty great at 96.8%. So is Tesla, 96.3%. Kia, 96%. Chevrolet, 95.8%. But then Volkswagen down to 939 which is not too bad, but you can see it's quite a bit less than some of the other brands. BMW, 90.8%. And Jaguar, also 90.8%. Some initial context though. This is a little confusing because the range benchmark is for each vehicle is not what its um, EPA was. It's the real world range that the customer experienced when the car first left the, left the dealership. So Liz Najman, Recurrence Director of Market Insights, said the sample sizes range from hundreds of vehicles to thousands depending on the brand. Inside EVs has reported on this information and they said, looking at digging deeper into these results, one obvious question is, how come some brands exhibit zero range loss at all? There could be a few reasons, uh, but it doesn't mean the batteries didn't age, because they do, all of them did. For one, car companies build in battery buffers though, into their cars, and over time, as the battery degrades, they can unlock access to more of the battery pack, so the end user doesn't see any change in performance. Do they really do that though in the real world? Not so sure. Software updates can also influence efficiency and range by tweaking, regen braking, or acceleration. But most of these brands don't actually do any of that stuff though, so I'm not sure that's the reason. This data though isn't necessarily a pure measure of an EV's quality or longevity because it's based on the range they got when they drove the car home, not its EPA range. However, there are definitely differences in the ways automakers approach things like heat management or charging. All of that can impact how a battery performs over time. Now, personally, I'd probably take these um, numbers with a, a grain of salt. I don't think that um, 
this particular study was anywhere good as the other stu- as good as the other studies we've seen on battery degradation in EVs. And the other thing is, you know, this can depend on your battery chemistry. This can also depend on what you do. My solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay zero dollars for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Um, supercharging every day, to be honest, doesn't make a huge difference, but it does make a small difference and it will definitely de- increase your battery degradation. Charge it to 100% on NMC batteries, that'll probably slightly increase degradation, not a huge amount either, but slightly. So there are a few differences in terms of what you can do. The other thing is as well, if you're basically driving in desert conditions or really hot temperatures all the time that's potentially going to lead to a little bit more degradation similarly to if you're driving in really cold temperatures all the time so climate can also have an effect now i think with some cars how fast you accelerate can also have an effect now keep in mind though battery degradation in uevs is very minimal and it's something i don't think anyone really thinks too hard about So cars are significantly improving, and that's really the main takeaway from this data here. The truth is, the Jaguar I-Pace is a pretty old car, right? came out in 2018. Uh, It wasn't even made by Jaguar. It's made by Magna Steer, which is a contract manufacturing company in Austria. And it's older, but even its battery degradation is not too bad. And it's had all these recalls for fire problems and everything else, and still the degradation numbers don't seem too terrible. Actually quite good. So my big takeaway here is EVs have improved enormously in the last few years. New battery management systems have been huge in helping to extend the life of EV batteries, not to just extend the life, but to extend their usable life. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.